How do you solve this? That's what we're going to talk about today. This video is brought to you by the Team Leica Review Books. More about those later. Hi there and welcome to Team Leica where I try to help you prepare better for your next exam. And today we're going to talk about word problems involving finding the greatest common factor. Now, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit that bell icon because we have more videos coming up. And if you haven't seen the video lesson we posted last week about LCM word problems, go ahead and watch that too. It's very important for you to know kung alin ang alin. Which should you use? Anong inahalap sa tanong? GCF ba o LCM? And if you're ready, let's jump right into it. Dito sa sample problem natin, it says there are 98 grade 5 students and 70 grade 6 students going on a trip. If each grade should be distributed evenly among the vehicles without anyone left over, how many vehicles should they rent? Now, ang trick talaga sa word problems, lalo na hirapan kayo, is to translate it into your own comfort language, your mother tongue. Kung i-imagine natin sila na parang totoong tao, ito na hinahati natin, mas mapipicture natin kung ano yung ginagawa natin sa problema na ito. If there are 98 grade 5 students, 70 grade 6 students, tapos hahati-hatian mo sila, tapos bawat grupo ng estudyante, yung mga grupo ng grade 5, grupo ng grade 6, ay dapat pantay-pantay ang dami, at yung dami ng mga sasakyan naman ay pareho, kitang-kita na may hinahati tayo dito. Ang hinahanap natin yung factor, yung shared factor ng 98 at 70. Yung dami ng sasakyan, kung saan pwede mong hatiin ang mga estudyante na ito, na walang tira or walang remainder. And to find the greatest common factor, we have a few options. The first one is to use the factor tree. So if you have 98 and 70, we can split this into 2 and 49. This right here into 7 and 7. And then we can stop there. 70 naman, pwede natin hatiin sa 7 at 10. Yung 10 naman ay 2 times 5, kaya ganyan. At kung nakalimutan nyo na kung paano gumamit ng factor 3, meron na rin tayong lesson yan na ililink ko na lang din. After we do this, we are going to look for pairs. Ibig sabihin, yung meron sa kaliwa, meron din sa kanan. Pareho silang merong 2, so we can write 2 right here sa baba. Pareho rin silang may 7, pero isa lang yung doon sa 70 kaya isang beses lang natin siya isusulat. And dahil lang natitira na lang ay 7 sa left, 5 sa kanan, hindi sila pareho, we're going to leave it at that. 2 times 7 is 14. Which means, they could rent 14 vehicles na naglalaman ng tig lilima na grade 6 students at tig pipito naman na grade 5 students. Walang matitira? Walang may iiwan. Now, another way to get the greatest common factor is to use the ladder method. Ginamit din natin to last week. We have 98, 70, L-shape, and then we just look for a common factor. Pareho silang divisible sa 2. So, lagi natin 2 dyan. 98 divided by 2 is 49. 70 divided by 2 is 35. Itong dalawa, divisible pareho sa 7. 49 divided by 7 is 7. 35 divided by 7 is 5. Now, last week, nagkalap tayo ng LCM. L, yung clue natin for the shape. Pero ang greatest common factor, hindi na siya L. Ang multiply na lang natin ay yung mga nasa left side. So, we're going to multiply 2 and 7. At ang lalabas ay 14. Pareho lang ng sagot. 14 vehicles. At bawat isang vehicle, again, may tig sa 7. Na grade 5 students, tigli limang grade 6, walang maiiwan. Now, this is also a great opportunity for me to talk about the review books. So, if you want more practice questions, if you want more exclusive techniques, and yung mga explainers ng mga speed uh, methods na ginagamit ko pag ako nagtitake ng exam, you can go ahead and get your own copy of the practice test booklets and the workbooks m.me slash team like we ship all over the country so if you're interested message us on facebook para malaman ninyo kung paano kayo makakakuha ng inyo let's solve another one sabi dito the school is planning to distribute materials to the students they have 20 flyers and 15 posters if each classroom is set to receive an identical set of materials without having any materials left over what is the greatest number of classrooms they could cover so again Meron tayong dalawang klase ng bagay. Pwede ring tatlo kung tutuusin. Na paghahati-hatian natin. At yung paghahati na yon ay dapat 
pare-pareho ang dami sa bawat grupo. At ibig sabihin din nun, bawat klase ng gamit ay hahatiin mo sa same number of groups. Same number factor. Greatest common factor. Again, we can go 20 and 15. 20, even number. So, pwede mo divide sa 2. 20 divided by 2 is 10. 10 is 2 times 5. Prime numbers na yan, we can stop there. So, 15, you have 3 times 5. Wala ka na namang pwedeng gawin dyan, so we'll stop at that. And then, we'll find yung mga pares ng numbers. Dito sa left, merong 5. Dito, may 5. Wala nang iba. Dahil wala nang iba, 5 lang, ibig sabihin, yun na yung ating magiging sagot. 5 classrooms. Bawat isang classroom, may tiga apat na flyers at tiga tatlo na posters. Now, bakit alam ko na apat yung flyers at tatlo yung posters? Well, you could go with 20 divided by 5 para malaman mo kung ilan yung flyers. Or, kung papansin ninyo, ito na lang yung magiging sagot. Apat na flyers kasi 2 times 2 is 4 and tatlong posters. Kung ladder method naman, 20, 15, pareho silang divisible sa 5, 20 divided by 5 is 4, 15 divided by 5 is 3. Again, kung masyado itong mabilis para sa inyo, may video lesson tayo pagdating dito ha, panoorin nyo na lang yun. At dahil 5 lang, ang number na nasa gilid, yun na rin yung sagot, 5 class rules. Again, kung ano man ang paraan na ginamit ninyo, ang importante, pareho ang sagot. Now, para masunod rin ninyo itong maitindihan at hindi nyo rin makalimutan, it's time for your quick quiz. So, if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. Number one muna tayo. Miss Cruz would like to divide 16 boys and 12 girls into groups, each with the same combination of boys and girls. What is the greatest number of groups that can be formed, making sure there's no child left over? Kawawa naman kung wala siyang kagroup, di ba? We're just going to take 16 and 12. So factor 3, this could be 4 and 4, which can be broken down pa to 2 and 2, 2 and 2. Sa 12, meron kang 3 and 4. At yung 4 ay again, mahahati sa 2 and 2. Kung magpapares-pares tayo, may magkapares na 2 here. Pwede natin isulat. Times another pair of 2s right there. So, 2 times 2. Meron pa bang iba? Wala nang pareho. So, the answer is 4. 4 groups. Now, if you ask me, pwede na ba akong huminto dun sa 4 and 4 at saka 3 and 4? Kasi napansin ko na may 4 na agad dun. Pwede naman. Nasa sa inyo yan. Just make sure that you pay attention to the details para wala kayong makakalimutan. Okay? Kung ladder method, 16 and 12. Pareho sa lang divisible sa 2. 8 and 6. Pareho pa ring even. So, pwede uli sa 2. We have 4 and 3. Wala nang pareho. So, I'll just multiply this left side. 2 times 2 is still 4 groups. Yun yung tama sagot. Next question, do is decorating notebooks with stickers. She has 10 cat stickers and 18 star stickers. If she wants to make all notebooks identical, ibig sabihin pare-pareho yung dami ng cat stickers and star stickers sa bawat notebook. With the same combination of heart and star stickers and no stickers left over, walang matitira or walang butal, how many notebooks can you decorate? Again, our numbers here are 10 and 18. Ano ang greatest common factor nila? Factor 3, we have 2 and 5. 18 could be 2 and 9, which could be broken down further to 3 and 3. 3 times 3 kasi is 9. We can stop there, look for pairs. May 2 dito, may 2 dito. So may 2 na tayo sa baba. Wala nang pareho sa 5 at sa 3 and 3, so we're going to stop there. The answer, 2 Notebooks. Check natin using the ladder 3 if pareho yung makukuha natin. 10 and 18, we have 
to divide them by 2, 5, and 9. Again, wala nang parehong factor ang 5 and 9. So, we're going to stop with kung ano yung nasa kaliwa, still two notebooks. I hope you got that right. Now, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Wala na kung mag-exam din sila. Dati yung salami tayong matutulungan. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And let me take a few moments to thank all of our channel's members, channel supporters who make this possible. Maraming salamat sa inyo lahat. Sa inyo rin na kumukuha ng ating books, sa ating mga merch, like this hoodie right here sa shop.teamlaika.com. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. And if you want to order one of these for yourself, Go ahead and check out our website. Again, that's shop.teamlaika.com. Marami salamat. Thank you for helping me help more people through this channel. And kung bitin pa kayo dyan, we have more lessons that you can click right here. But for now, as we always say, never stop learning. Aja-aja kainian. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.